Hi everyone. Today we will look at the masking functionality in Affinity Publisher V2 version 2. As you can see, I have a blank document here, blank page. If you look at layers, we have no layers at all. And first, let's create a text, some text here. I take the text frame tool and draw a single column text frame. I go to my columns control, increase it to two columns and click my cursor here and then go to text and select insert filler text to fill it uh, with Latin placeholder text. Now I would like to uh, import an image, place an image to demonstrate how masking works and press shift control M to open my sample photos folder and I'm going to select this image and I will place it. Now what I want to do is get two round images out of this bigger image. And for that, I'm going to use masking. Here, as you can see, I have the frame text. I can make it visible and invisible by clicking this white circle. And I have another layer, the image layer here. So let me select the ellipse tool and draw by first pressing shift, draw a circle like so. And here the circle does not have any fill, but a light green, uh, light green stroke around it. Now, if you look here, the ellipse I created is above the image layer. So I pull the ellipse underneath the image uh, layer. And then what I do is I click on the image and pull it right on top of the ellipse, thereby masking the larger image and creating this uh, little circle. Now, the interesting thing is this does not destruct. This is non-destructive uh, masking. The image is still there. I can open and click on the image and move this around any way I like. Okay. But when I click out, it is an independent new masked image. Now, I want to create another one like that. So on the PC, I press Alt and, click and drag this image. As you can see, the, the layers uh, layers uh, list, it created a second one. Here I click on the image sublayer and move this around to get a different view. Okay, so I have two masked images created from the master image, original uh, photo. What I Further want to do is to place them on the task, the text I created. And I go to text, text wrap, and show text wrap settings here. And I click, let's click square for this kind of effect, wrapping effect. I do the same to the other one. Again, I select square, how about tight? So it, it depends on, on your selection here, as well as you can increase the size. Likewise, you can change its location. So you can design your document any way you like. Your imagination is the limit of what you can do, uh, what you can do with masking. 
Now, the interesting thing is, again, I will place the same image. You are not limited, of course, to the circle shape. And let me select the star tool. And let me create a star shape here. And in the uh, layers here, and I just first want to identify my photo. Photo is here, star shape is here. So to create it, I have to pull star, you know, under the image like so. And when I pull the image on top of the star, the image is masked in a star shape. So therefore, I can possibly get rid of the first one and use my star image again to wrap text around it. And I'm going to select jump, see what happens. See, there are so many alternatives. Square looks even better. So when you're uh, designing your document, uh, masking and text framing uh, give you almost infinite po aesthetic possibilities. And you are, as I said, limited only uh, by the limits of your imagination. I see you in another video. Take good care.